So yesterday, StellarMint.io was released. This is a very easy, convenient way for you to release, create reward tokens, loyalty tokens, utility tokens on top of the Stellar blockchain. Plus, I thought this might be a very interesting exercise for a lot of people that want to create some reward tokens. This might be a perfect uh, video to do for people, and I'll go ahead and walk right through it, and you can watch me do it. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and dive in and make a token on the Stellar Network. Let's go ahead and create our token. There's two options here. We can run a public node and get a discount, or we can go ahead and sign up for a one Stellar token account, $20 annually. Stellar tokens made easier. We make creating tokens on the Stellar network even easier. You define the attributes of your tokens. We'll take care of all the technical details and send your tokens directly to your Stellar wallet. With your subscription, we'll host the Stellar.toml file and token image, fund your issuing account with 3XLM, fund your receiving wallet with 5XLM, send your tokens to your wallet, and hand over the keys. It's never been easier for the local coffee house, ice cream shop, or brew pub to replace those paper hole punch cards and digital rewards tokens on the Stellar blockchain. Stellar Mint, loyalty tokens, utility tokens, and reward tokens. Stellar tokens made easier. This was released yesterday and I'm kind of excited to check it out. Basically, welcome to StellarMint.io. StellarMint makes creating tokens on the Stellar Network even easier. You define the attributes of your token and we'll issue that token directly to your Stellar wallet. No need to worry about the technicals of the Stellar.toml file. We'll take care of all those and let you customize it directly from your StellarMint interface. How it works. Create a Stellar Network token the really, really easy way. Open a token account. For 20 bucks a year, it's a subscription. Name your token and define its attributes. Establish how many tokens you want to issue. Issue more tokens later or lock the supply forever. Design your token. Provide the information you want in the Stellar.toml file. Upload your token's logo. We'll host that too. The Stellar.toml file will be hosted at name that you choose, .stellarmint.io. An active StellarMint token account can modify the Stellar.toml file at any time. Receive your token. Tell us where to send your tokens. We'll send 5 XML. Receive your token. Tell us where to send your tokens. We'll send 5 XLM. Open your, trust open your trust line with your new token. We'll show you how. Receive your newly minted tokens. Issuing account key transferred to you or destroyed forever. Stellar is limitless. Come join the Stellar network. Stellar is an open network for storing and moving money plus any other form of value. Stellar makes it possible to create, send, and trade digital representations of all forms of money, dollars, pesos, bitcoin, pretty much anything. It's designed so that all the world's financial systems can work together on a single network. Let's go ahead and get started. So you see here, I went ahead and added all my uh, information into my StellarMint.io account. This is my token account. Uh, so for my username, I just have Muant. Here's my password, which you don't need to know. I put in my email, muantbtc at gmail.com. I went ahead and gave it a alphanumeric name. I had to give it something, so I gave it Mu A. Token Stellar Mint.io subdomain. So I wanted to go with Muant. I'm going to issue 10,000 tokens. I am not going to lock the issuing account, meaning at a later time I can come back in and issue more tokens than this 10,000. I had to tie it to a public Stellar wallet address, which I did. I added my picture here. I gave it uh, my token a token name. It's Muant Rewards. Uh, this is the token description. A MUA is a MUANT reward token issued by MUANT for services. Conditions of token public. Customers and friends of MUANT can, redeemed, MU, can redeem MUA for technical and blockchain services. How many decimal places? Zero. Organization name MUANT. Organization description MUANT is a 22 plus year IT professional with experience in blockchain since 2013. Organizations uh, within the stellar.toml email address public. I put down my Gmail address. Organization physical location. No reason to put that. 
I had to give it a phone number, put in my website, and I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. Okay, so uh, basically where we're at here is uh, everything's all set up inside the Stellar Mart. Let's go ahead, uh, my, my MOOA or MUA uh, token has uh, basically been propagated all already throughout the Stellar Network. Um, so for this final step, I just need to go ahead and accept uh, the token's trust line with the wallet that I wanted to set up. There's several wallets in which I could have used, but because I use a Ledger uh, Nano, I wanted to use the Stellar Laboratories um, means of setting up this trust line. So basically the first step I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure this says public up here. I don't wanna be on the test. I don't wanna be on custom. I wanna be on public. I'm gonna go over to build. I've already pre-populated some of this, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, put in my wallet address. This is my public address into the source account. I went ahead and uh, hit this button here for fetch next sequence number for account starting in and so what it's doing it's fetching the transaction sequence number is usually one higher than the current sequence account number I know that doesn't make any sense to you but um, basically just uh, hit this button and this should pre-populate with a number I'm gonna leave this base fee at a hundred I'm gonna add a no memo here I'm gonna skip this time bound I don't really care about this it's not a big deal to me I'm gonna to go to operation type and I'm gonna select change trust from the operation type drop down menu and now I need to go ahead I'm going to personally select under the asset I'm gonna select alphanumeric 4 okay I'm gonna type in my token name here MOOA and he sent me a specific input okay to put into this issuer issuer asset uh, slot here just uh, input whatever they send you this is going to go ahead and uh, this is going to be the issuer account ID that actually spit outs tokens right I'm not going to put anything in the source account so I went ahead and signed uh, the transaction now I'm going to go ahead and submit in the transaction submitter transaction submitted transaction succeeded with one operation boom and it shows my asset moolah all right so uh, transaction went through it looks like my 10,000 mu tokens were created now let's see if we can go ahead and send these guys somewhere yeah hey so one of the interesting things um, about stellar assets as opposed to uh, like ethereum tokens uh, basically you have to create what they call a trust link right um, a trust link you you have to basically prepare your wallet uh, in order to receive a specialized asset like the one that I created it's it's not like ethereum where I could just blankly send out a bunch of ethereum ERC 20 based or ERC uh, 721 tokens to just tons of addresses right so it's it's one of the features that makes stellar pretty unique actually and kinda cool because you don't have your wallet clogged up with a bunch of you know crap coins and a bunch of nonsense so anyway what they do is they call this uh, creating a trust link and it allows me uh, would allow me to go ahead and send uh, my Muant uh, Stellar asset to um, anybody. I want to talk a little bit about some wallets though. So um, obviously with uh, private key secured in some way or you having access to a private key on the Stellar uh, blockchain or Stellar network, you would be able to use something like um, Stellar Laboratories uh, to send or to create some transactions you can do lots of things um, other than that you would need a couple of different wallets you could use something called keybase.io uh, this is a stellar wallet that has the ability to receive stellar assets and I, I noticed that uh, keybase has been acquired by zoom um, which I haven't heard anybody talk about and I didn't know either until I uh, just started poking around on the keybase site so that's pretty cool um, wonder why they're doing that um, and another wallet would be the Lobster Wallet, a uh, really good uh, desktop and uh, mobile wallet. Uh, it's one that's pretty easy to use. And uh, the other one would be uh, Lightmint. So Lightmint is also a kind of web-based um, and a mobile wallet. Uh, cool thing about Lightmint is they have tons of Stellar games. Um, so if that's something that interests you, uh, you may be interested in uh, using Lightmint. But uh, anyway, let me show you go how and uh, to begin to set up the the trust. Uh, link uh, so that I could potentially send you a, a Muant token. So anyway, you'd go ahead and set up your Lightmint wallet either on your phone or through the web. Uh, you can go ahead over to Assets and you click the plus button here. Um, because the Muant token is registered on the Stellar blockchain correctly, a lot of wallets you can just type in uh, Muant 
and it would show right up. I've noticed inside of uh, LightMint, this does not happen. You actually have to fully qualify the domain. So you have to do something like, well, let me try the token name, see if that works. That's interesting to me that that doesn't work either um, because a lot of these wallets will just accept it if, if you type in the token name. So we'll go and fully qualify the domain. It's going to be muant.stellarmint.io. Boom. Uh, so it shows up. It's got uh, some things here. I'll go ahead and add this. This will create a trust link and allow this wallet to accept this Stellar asset. Good. It went ahead and added uh, the ability for this wallet to receive the Stellar asset called uh, Mu uh, or the Mu Ant uh, Stellar token. Um, excellent. So if you'd like to set up uh, a trust link either in Keybase or Lobster or Lightmint or through Stellar Laboratories, I would be able to send you a uh, Mu Ant Stellar asset. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you found it interesting, uh, useful. If you don't want to learn coding, but you'd still like to dip your toe in the water with some stellar assets, this is a good way to do it. Um, it'll basically cost you 20 bucks and uh, hopefully begin you on the journey of having a token to play with and um, start you down the road of learning a lot more about the stellar network. So guys, if you'd like to receive a uh, Muant stellar asset, just go ahead and set up your wallet uh, like I just showed you. Um, like comment or subscribe leave me your address to your stellar wallet uh, in the comments below make sure you set up the trust link and i'll go ahead and send you a moon token thanks a lot guys i hope you learned something see ya so if you guys have been following along you're probably curious hey how do i get these uh, tokens that have been distributed to my account uh, how do i go ahead and send those out to people it's pretty simple to do i'm going to do mine through the stellar laboratories here so this source account is what holds my muant tokens holds the majority of my muant tokens i'm just going to go to the transaction sequence number i'm going to go ahead and hit this it'll just give me the next one in the sequence i'm going to skip the base fee i'm going to skip the memo i'm also going to skip the time bounds I'm going to select payment here from the list for the operation type. I'm going to put in the destination that I want to send. This is the wallet address, the Stellar address that I want to send my Muant token to. And there's already been a trust link established between the two. If it was a normal Stellar token, right? If it was a Lumens, you would go to native and just type in the amount. But since this is a custom asset, I created mine as an alphanumeric four. And um, basically, I'm going to... I, typed in the name here MOOA and then I have to put in the issue account ID that uh, basically was used to go ahead and create this token I don't want to hit add an operation because all that does is it adds another operation I've got one here and one is enough <clears throat> I've got my ledger hooked up I'm gonna go ahead and hit sign transaction ledger I'm only gonna send one token I'm going to send this token over to this uh, Lightman wallet. Just going to go to receive so I can get the correct address here. I'm going to make sure that I put that address into the destination. I'm going to go down and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sign in, create a transaction. I need to okay this transaction through my ledger. I've now signed the transaction and now I'm going to go ahead and submit this transaction to the submitter. It's in the submitter. Now I'm going to go ahead and actually submit the transaction. Transaction submitted. Transaction succeeded with one operation. Awesome. Now we should be able to go over to the Lightmint wallet. Excellent. So it worked just fine. You'll see that I now have one Muant Stellar asset deposited within this Lightmint wallet. Pretty easy. So guys, if you'd like to receive a uh, Muant Stellar asset, like, comment, or subscribe. Leave me your address to your Stellar wallet uh, in the comments below. Make sure you set up the trust link, and I'll go ahead and send you a Muant token. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope you learned something. See ya.